Hello and welcome to Let's Play with MOHOBT. I'm your host, One Bad Terran, and this is Dwarf Wednesdays, where we continue to play Dwarf Fortress. Now, as you recall, last week we started Dwarf Fortress Fortress mode, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and continue playing. Note that I already have a, a private region for myself, but we're going right into our Region 2, with our ridiculously long name, Year 57. Remember, we just started out and we're playing in a terrifying location. So again, if you guys have any questions, while we wait for this to get started, here we go. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, go ahead and just post them in chat, add a comment to the video, whatever. I will try and answer them as soon as I possibly can. So here we go. Ranger was found dead. Where? Right there. Um, here's, okay, we have six people in the military. Um, what do we got? Moments of trading. Oh, we got a novice spear dwarf. Oh, wait, no, it's, that's our vampire. That's right. We do have a vampire. Now, if you guys will recall, I'm sealing my vampire away for all eternity to just live inside that little hole. This chamber right here. What is wrong with that guy? Broken fingers. Wow, hands destroyed, legs are destroyed. Ouch. Wait, witness death. Lack of a well, yeah. I'm working on the well thing. Raven woman. That's our, again, we're living in terrifying, so we have 15 drink. That's fantastic. So there's a lot to uh, work with. Or not, not a lot to work with, I should say. A lot to deal with. We do have our farm set up. If you recall last time, we did get that up and running, so that's good. We do have that going for us. Um, and they were complaining about not having a well. So I guess we'll probably work on that next. Do we have a workshop? Uh, loom, leatherworks, farmer, mechanic, jeweler, boyer. Looks like we had something here, and it's gone now. Carpenter, Mason. Okay, we do have blocks, and we have mechanisms, and I believe we have ropes. I think we have at least some. Whoa, oh right. giant sponge problem. Oh yeah, and we were doing this. Okay, so we can get a well pretty easily. There are, there will be drawlthas down here, so we do have to be a little careful. But I feel like we can do it this way. So we're going to dig our way into it, um, build a little bridge across right here. Not retractable. We made of floors. Uh, so a non-retractable bridge. And then dig our way further in and try and put a well in right here. Although this is stagnant water, isn't it? Not just water. Okay, so that'll be perfect. Uh, the reason why I don't put the well like right here, for example, is that could uh, run dry, actually, since it's right at the edge. I'd much rather just go ahead and take it a little bit further in. Uh, yeah, the dwarves have to go a little bit further, but it should be a little safer, to say the least. So let's go ahead and start that with some cage traps right here. Orthoclast, diorite, rock salt, and rock salt. Alright, so that'll help get that started. It looks like the uh, miners are just going right along, getting everything done. Look at him go. Alright, B, L? Yep. Oh, we need it. Okay, so we're out of rope. We do need rope. So for the next caravan, we will need a rope. And that should be pretty easy to come by. Go ahead and clean up some of this micro-clean. While we're at it, take out some of the uh, yellow sphalerite. Probably what it is. Uh, 
But don't get, don't get too close to the water, because it's terrifying. There's probably pond grabbers in the water. Now, those things are kind of deadly. They will pull your dwarves in and they will drown them. Whoa. Oh, oh, because he was coming over here, because because he was doing this, he was exploring a whole bunch more. Uh, cloud of Unholy Vapor, once again. And there it goes. But, again, we're underground, so no problems there. People are unhappy. We have some drink. Um, brew drink, carpenter workshop, bucket barrel, remote barrel. Mechanisms, Farmer Workshop. I don't think we have anything we can milk. Uh, we have 59 people, and a lot of them are kind of throwing tantrums, so that's kind of being a problem. Migrants have arrived. Perfect. Exactly what we need. More migrants. Are we keeping animals? No, it doesn't look like it. Unless it's a work animal. So, go ahead and just start the slaughter right away. Mind you that this is completely vanilla. We're using no mods. Uh, we haven't changed anything in the game except for increasing the population cap to near infinity. So, other than that, nothing has been changed about this game. This is Dwarf Fortress 2012, and we're gonna play it as such. body. If I just go ahead and remove the rope reed fiber rope. There we go. Okay, so he'll remove that. And then we can make our dwarves stop going into their deaths, basically. Um, they got an orthoclass with a, a good alder bucket and some rope fiber rope and some, a decent mechanism. A fairly decent mechanism. And this will give us a well. Uh, note that wells do have to be placed over uh, one high water. Or, Let's be placed right above water, I should say. So, as I recall, as long as it's within like three vertical blocks or something, you can have a well. And we definitely have achieved that. waiting on someone to build the well so that they can all stop going outside. Be in the best interest of them to, you know, stay inside where it's safe ish. Um well, well I, apparently one of my guys just died. I don't know what happened there. 
Uh, we're gonna move our military over here. Are they sparring? Some of them are sparring. There we go. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to explore a little bit. There we go. Found microclean. Uh, move more guys over here then. What? Oh! Well, uh, a dwarven child just went berserk, which means we have to put him down. Ah, what? Unholy vapor. So what happened to the child? Just kind of bruised the stone crafter. And the giant Thrips grabs the dwarven child by the nose with her right wing and punches him through the head. So, the dwarven child just got nailed through the head by a, a giant Thrips. Again, I, I still don't know what that is. But, he was carrying two plump helmets on him. So, now we get those back. We can use those for alcoholic purposes our military over here. Benefits of having a giant thripes wandering around. You can put down children. That lose it, basically. Okay, so I think I've explored most of this area. They'll find a way to get there. Oh, there we go. Wow. This is a maze. Oh, and a little bit further. Looks like there might be a little bit more we have to explore over in this corner. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. The dead walk? Oh, no way. What is this? Human corpse? Elf corpse, human corpse. What is with this elf corpse? Oh, tch, whoa. <laughs> uh, lower body's rotten, upper body's rotten, head is rotten. Thin, but has incredible muscles. But, lower left arm muscles gone. So it's like a skeleton. Mustache is gone. Chin whiskers gone, sideburns, head hair. Wow, like, this is, this is incredible what the detail is. If you want to pause the video to read all this, by all means, I'll go ahead and look at the other two as well. Just see, so like, any of you watching on YouTube want to watch this, like, read all this. This is ridiculous, the amount of details in there. Well, that guy is not quite decayed. This is even less decayed. Wow. Wow. So then with the elf, there's just like nothing left, so there's nothing to look at. Oh my god. Is there any, oh, oh my god, there's another one. And another one. Again, you got that. And that. For all you people on YouTube who want to read it. Oh, well, they're invading from every direction. Holy crap. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. What are these? Grasshopper women. Woman and a man. Head and legs of a grasshopper. Well, that's real descriptive. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Pull those guys back and, uh, build the wall. Have everyone that wants to get inside, go ahead and get inside. Looks like our trade depot was destroyed. Spear Dwarf's been missing for a week. Troglodyte. I don't know where my Spear Dwarf is. Oh, wow, the... 
My military dwarves are fighting troglodytes, apparently. Okay, well, we sealed off the outside world. And we can see there's an elven civilization. That's great. Um, okay. Now what? Intruders? That guy. Necromancer. Medium-sized creature prone to great ambition. His wavy hair is extremely long. He's very fat. Extre his extremely sparse eyebrows are extremely low. His short, broad ears have large, hanging lobes. Low cheekbones, a prominent chin. Lips are very thin. His head is somewhat narrow. His green eyes are slightly protruding. His hair gray mixed with white. Skin is burnt umber. Huh. So that's a necromancer. So then... I mean, I was, I've been warned about necromancers. There are more than one. So then, civilizations... No, I'm just next to a, a tower. That's all I know is that I'm next to a tower right now. Oh, wow. The problem with the undead is they don't feel pain. They just fight and fight. Fight. Oh crap, where's my refuse pile? My corpse pile? I really hope that uh, these don't start like um, breaking open and stuff doesn't start coming out of it because that would be very bad for this fortress if my graveyard just became uh, a very bad place to be. We'll find out. <laughs> oh boy. We have no drink. Now they would prefer alcohol. I'm really glad. Oh, oh, come on. Why? Don't suspend it. Build it. We need some form of liquid, darn it. And some way to make my dwarves clean themselves. I'm sure that would be helpful. Eh, leave it like that for now. I think maybe, the, whoa, what, what do we capture? Troglodyte, troglodyte. Wow. Wait, what was that? A very good goblin, apparently. So we've got goblins, humans, elves. Some of them are named. Two necromancers and two caged troglodytes. Okay, well, um, put a lever right there out of marble and put some cages. Troglodyte cage and troglodyte cage. Put them there. We will see what happens. Now, in this current version of Dwarf Fortress, there are no wagons. But if there were a wagon, you need to be at least three wide. So a wagon can get through. I like to play it as if there were uh, wagons. Just because that's the way I do it personally. It makes it a little more difficult because you can't make a narrow choke or anything. Um, but, you know, whatever. So what I'm doing right now, obviously this entire thing is military, and this is military animal training, and this is um, just basically the jail. We're down to 61 dwarves. And so what I'm doing is I, I cage the troglodytes, and I'm going to uh, link up the cage to that lever. 
I'm gonna put my military around him, and then I'm gonna open up the, the cage and let my military practice beating up troglodytes. Now, if they would hurry up and build this, they'd have water. So he's working on it. He's coming. He's haunted by the dead, but he's coming. What does the mayor want done? Three scepters. Well, I can't really help you with that, but I can do Captain the Guard. Uh, that can be our Hammer Dwarf, and our Hammerer is our Hammer Dwarf. <laughs> there you go. Miner has been found dead. Where? Right there? Probably from dehydration, I would imagine. So everyone's going to die of thirst. If they don't freaking hurry up. I just realized I have... Well, what the heck? Where's our carpenters then? What the frick? Architecture anyone that wants to do architecture. Anyone at all. Just get it done. This peasant. Wow, he doesn't do anything. Okay, well, we'll have this peasant... be a carpenter and a woodcutter. So somebody ought to go work. Okay, someone's coming to help build that. And was that that was suspended but okay, don't suspend that. Come on, who's coming? What are you guys even doing? Drinking. They are drinking. Okay, there we go. Architect, go. Yes, no. Yeah, okay, so we gotta get working on it. Our dwarves who are running out of liquid because we don't have any wood, because we spawned in a terrifying woodless area. And for those of you tuning in, we are under siege by necromancers. So I'm just kind of hiding inside my walls right now. With my 22 children and 60 dwarves. Oh, but I did build a bunch of these, so I should probably do this. Okay, take away the dead bodies. The decaying dead bodies. There we go. Oh, and I'm still really, really hoping those necromancers cannot use their magic to affect me. I'm curious, though. Oh, blood. Oh, there's a spear dwarf. Found a spear dwarf. He's got a freaking giant sponge. A huge, immobile sponge. Its body's red. It's, like I said last time, those things are immortal. Which is a pain. I mean, you can get them out of water, and then they can't do any damage, but... The only reason why they do damage is because... They, like, make your dwarves jump in to the water, and then your dwarves drown. So, well done. Yep. And they're already just drinking away. They're coming one at a time to drink from the well. Oh, and I hope they're coming in by priority. <laughs> I can only say that. Like, I really just hope they're coming in by priority. 59. We're losing dwarves. This is horrible. The guy sleeps by the well. Fantastic. Oh. Good. No more idlers. Everyone will be okay again. 
Did you guys finish doing that? Yeah. We need a, what? We don't have a, Oh my god, our manager died. And our broker and our... Oh my god, that's horrible. Ah, oh, and I'd love to use Limo, but he's our vampire. We can't do anything with that. So our peasant. What, we have a... What the frick? Where's our clerk? I don't see a clerk. Lies and slander. We have no clerk. What? So this needs to go to the broker. Okay, so now our records can be put back up. I thought we had a butcher. Woodcrafter. Maybe our butcher died. Dwarven child has gone berserk. Again. Thripes to the rescue. Okay, another one shot another child down. Oh. Now what? Another unholy vapor cloud, here that comes. Necromancer is chilling outside, that's not good. Report crime. Wow. So we're down like 57? Yep, 57. No miners left. Dwarven child withdraws from society. Let us hope it is for the best. What do you get? Craft store workshop. Of course he did. There he goes. Gold opal. Let's increase this area. Make it just a wee bit bigger. Just a wee bit. Like so. You, stone worker. No, not stone worker. Oh, not Lemel. You, Shearer, you're not a miner. Have fun being a miner.
And I'm going to turn this into a statue hall thing. So they can organize a small party. This is, of course, assuming people survive this very, very bleak time. And this is very bad. I'm sure you can all imagine. So we do have a miner. Finally going to work. Slowly but surely, she will mine through all the stone. And then we will have our statue room. Ah, uh, another cloud of unholy vapor. And it drifts over the river. Wow. Kinda engulfs everything, doesn't it? Oops. Fifty-six. Tell my guys to go for the troglodytes. And then have someone come over and pull the lever. Boom, lever pulled, troglodyte wars. And there you go. Dead troglodytes. Chopping them to bits and making sure that they do not have a pleasant death. So now we have some dead troglodytes. Put those in the graveyard. Oh, we had a butcher's shop. Oh, that must have been what they deleted. What they destroyed. The... You. You is butcher's shop. Do that out of Gabaro and this is not the best place to have them, and I'll probably tear it apart later and put an entirely separate area for butcher shop because of like body stuff just lays there. It's a kind of a problem. But as it stands right now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the butcher shop right there, and we can go ahead and start cleaning up uh, all the butcher stuff. Um, but we can make troglodyte bone crossbows, so that's good. Uh, and this dwarven child's probably not going to be able to build anything. They need shiny bars of metal? Yeah, we don't have those. We have pretty much everything except for metal. And what does he want? Made statues! Maybe. We will see if we can get any statues. Okay, now the clerk died of thirst. You guys building barrels yet? Sure hope so. Um, let's find another guy and turn him into another carpenter. You, oh, you're, wow, you have a lot to do. You, cook, become a carpenter. Also, you are a cook, so why are you not have cooking? I just need someone to make barrels so I can make drink and make all my dwarves happy again. That's all I'm asking for. Also turn that whole thing into a meeting hall. Did you guys... Because uh, we're out of mechanics, aren't we? Mayor. 
Child, what are you? Lion maker? Become a mechanic. I need at least a mechanic. Just at least one. And die right. Okay, so build statues. That'll be all of our statues. We're gonna put them all right there. We're gonna turn it into a room which people can enjoy. So if you're paying attention, you can see right away we need to clear up this path. Because they're just kind of walking around it. So let's give it a straight shot. I don't think that's too much to ask. Very nice diorite door. So yeah, sculpture garden. It's nobody's, it's just a public sculpture garden that people can go in and they can be happy. That is the idea anyways. What's going on there? Just a cage trap, a lime maker, and a giant jaguar. I don't know. How about in here? Smooth all this out. And let's smooth all this out up here as well. Just this whole path. If possible, smooth it over. start engraving the, uh, the statue garden. We're going to have a bunch of engravings in there. Uh, but the rest of it's just going to be smoothed over, just so it looks nice. There's really not much to say right now, we're just kind of waiting for everything to get done, so... Again, if you guys have any questions about the game, uh, go ahead and just post a message. Uh, Last Dwarf Wednesday was really lively. Looks like this one's getting a little quiet, understandable, as it is getting to the near, near the end of the school year. At least four university students. Uh, I know I just have three weeks left, so I mean... I have very little time to dilly-dally like this. I imagine some other people have even less time, depending on what your major is. But that's why all this is going up on YouTube, so even if you can't watch it live, you can go ahead and watch it on YouTube. It makes life a lot easier. So let's go ahead and excuse me for a moment.
Okay, so it looks like one of the children's gone berserk again. Oh, silly, silly children going berserk all the time. I don't blame them though, I mean, this is not the best of living environments, and we are under siege. But, uh... What is that sound? The heck? Hang on. Okay, whatever. That was weird. <clears throat> okay. Those are seeds, aren't they? Yeah, uh, those are all plump helmet spawn. Crogodites. Uh... End the troglodyte siege. They're killing our dwarves. Where are you, military? Get over there fast! No, save him! Yeah, alright. Military saving the day. Scaring away those mean troglodytes. Giant thrips, way outside. Uh, Slugman, Troglodytes, more of them. Go fight the Troglodytes. And... Will he get him? We'll scare him away. Slugman? Outside. Seems like they won't fight the Slugmen and Grasshopper men and women. Yeah, I don't see their dead bodies. So the undead, you'd think they'd attack everything, but apparently not. It just looks like the undead just attack... Um... Me. <laughs> At least when they're under control by the... Oh, Stoneworker's gone stark raving mad. We're down to 51. Those troglodytes did not help. So, select everything here and here and kill it. And even more troglodytes show up. Oh my gosh. Troglodytes everywhere. Combat. Horrible, horrible combat. Wow. What? A thief. He's outside. Oh, will the necromancer fight him? The necromancer runs away from him. Oh, but everyone's going after him. That, that thief. He died. That kobold thief is now dead. He didn't even fight back, he just tried to run away. Man, that poor thief is gone. Oh man, it must have rained outside. Wow. I filled right back up. Oh, wow. Uh, one of our farm plots apparently was demolished. That sucks. Alright, whatever. Well, we can fix that. No problemo. Bodies. Oh, bodies.
training axe. Someone want to kill that troglodyte for me? So that this random woodcrafter, who's apparently pretty good at fighting now, <laughs> doesn't die. Oh, they're just chasing all the troglodytes around. Jeez. I'm so lost. Aha, okay. They got him. <laughs> I got so confused. Oh crap. This is... Oh, our mason suffocated. That's not good. Are we full of... Yeah. We need to make more coffins. Oh. We don't have a manager again? What the frick? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Someone butcher. Oh my gosh. So the kobold that the necromancer's army just killed is now fighting them. They're now fighting for them. And it's in really good condition. Skull's broken, left two ribs are broken, right two ribs are broken, heart's fractured, heart's running with kobold blood, brain is fractured, right upper leg's fractured. Incredibly muscular, huh? I mean, it's a kobold, so it's not that terrifying. <coughs> but still, I mean, one more thing to fight, and it's incredibly muscular. That kind of sucks. What? Interrupted by troglodyte. Oh my god. Kill the troglodyte. Kill the troglodyte. Oh, troglodytes must die. Kill him. Yeah, blood everywhere. Good. Got him. More troglodytes? I just, I dare you. Come on, troglodytes. We're getting some good experience out of this. We're getting lots of kills. Weapons are becoming epic. One of our cage traps was destroyed again. Winter is upon us. You know, if I thought we could actually, like, do well... Then I would go ahead and um, tell my dwarves to open up the wall if I thought we stood a chance against them, but I'm pretty sure we don't. I'm almost certain that if I open up my wall, I'm going to get slaughtered, because my military is not that good. Novices, an incompetent novice, novice. Huh. Lemul is being haunted by a ghost. That's perfect. I would love to have my vampire as part of my military, but that's just not going to happen. I want all of the walking dead or ghosts or whatever to go in there. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I could get them all to just chillax in there. Like, four, five, six, seven of those ghosts just haunting a vampire. That'd be horrible. And weird. 
you wouldn't think that ghosts would haunt vampires, but hey, you never know. You never know. Who doesn't have a job? Stoneworker. But you're a stoneworker. You will have a job. Blacksmith, yeah. Uh, mayor. Shearer. There you go. He's a miner. Um, hmm. That's right, I wanted a crossbow maker. Another one. So that's gold opal, smoky quartz, green tourmaline. Just waiting for him to drop off the coffin so we can add a couple more bodies in there. Dwarf bodies, that's it. That's all. Unfortunately, because we're under siege, we don't have any traders. We can't. Traders do not come when you're under siege. Uh, that's part of playing in Dwarf Fortress is if you want to have traders ever again, you cannot be under siege. Obviously, we are under siege. So, no traders for us. But we do have neighbors. We have uh, other civilizations, so... It's, it's not a total loss, I mean, we can deal with that. So are they going to put bodies in there? Um, yeah. Bodies will go in. What was that G? Goblin corpse. And what is that? Oh, hang on. Tick man. So apparently the kobold that was resurrected is no longer under his control. Are the dwarves? No. Of course they're underwater as well, so debatable whether or not they would what is with you very unhappy enjoyed starting a fist fight lost a child lost a spouse um, haunted by the dead he has four children wow crazy but he's weak not exactly the best guy you want in your military but you know whatever we, we make it work that's what we do here. We make it work. Uh, so build a trade depot again. Out of marble. Um, well, okay, I guess not marble because Z is deselect. Um, so instead, we'll build it out of microclean. See if we can make it work. What does he mandate? Make greaves. We cannot make greaves. Unlike the elves, we cannot make wooden armor. We can make wooden bucklers. I think maybe shields, but that's it. Cannot make wooden armor. If we could, I would have my guys clad out in wooden armor right now, because that just works. Hey, leather works. Leather armor. Um, so, how about leather leggings? I don't know whether or not we even have leather, but if we do... I want to make sure that we can at least have one dwarf with a full armor set. Or have the uh, 
ability to have a full armor set. Okay, sorry about that. Twitch is acting up. It's causing a lot of problems. It has been for the past couple days. It's been very difficult to broadcast on Twitch with all these problems. It's getting very annoying. The chat system doesn't work, and I've been having a hard time just getting anything to broadcast properly. And lag free. We don't have a leather worker, do we? No. Of course not. Um, probably died. I would bet money our leather worker died. Herbalist. Leather working. Have fun. And we don't have any tan hides, so we can't do anything with leather. Starting to use up our wood supply down here. Troglodytes, any of them. Oh, just some camels. Still just waiting for our little dude to hurry up and get this all worked out. Right now, I'm s again, I'm smoothing over everything in here. <clears throat> Make a good path, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to re-engrave all this little bit so our dwarves can stay happy again. I mean, that's been a big problem so far this, this entire time we've been playing this fortress this time. I mean, it, it's been horrible, after, horrible thing after horrible thing. Oh, look at that. Trade Depot's finally done. We can't use it until we can, you know, build up a strong military force and defeat this necromancer army that's sitting outside our walls. But, you know, eventually we'll get to it. So I see a bunch of you just joined in. Um, so again, welcome. And for all of you that just joined, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm perfectly happy answering all sorts of questions related to this game, related to the stream, whatever, I will happily answer any of that for you guys. Oh, I think we might have things starting to become under control now. Maybe. Except we can't brew any more alcohol, so what are we at? Oh wow, 237 drink. That would make a difference. There we go, we have drink. At long, long last, we do have drink. And bone crossbows, probably troglodyte bone actually, I'm curious. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the stockpile real quick, just so you guys can see. Uh, for weapons, weapons, weapons. So we have, for crossbows, we have donkey, horse, cow, pig, water buffalo, alpaca, and that's it. So we're not even using troglodytes, which is unfortunate because we got a lot of troglodytes. Turn those into weapons and off you go. What is that S? That must have been like a forgotten beast or something. It's been forever, so I don't even remember what all we did.
chop up as many trees as we can, use all the wood. That's important. Is that kobold corpse? Yeah, he's just sitting there. Not even animated kobold corpse, just laying there. What? Why? What the frick? Where is the troglodyte? Whoops, not that. Frickin' troglodytes, man. Done. Dead troglodyte jaguar got him. So. Oh, thank you, war beasts. Stoneworker died. Dehydrated. Interrupted by gremlin. That's something I haven't seen before. Chase him down and kill him. Beat up the gremlin. Hack him to bits. Wow, he is fast. And he's gone. Actually, go ahead and explore up here. Apparently there was a little bit more we hadn't explored yet. A lot more we haven't explored yet. Wow. How much more do we have to explore? Okay, so this might be it. There we go. Found a lot more stuff. I mean, this is like... If we can get a stable civilization running around here, this will be just an economic heaven. There are resources everywhere. And that's what happens when you're playing in like terrifying or haunted areas. If you can somehow settle and open your, wor your world up, your city, to traders, you're going to make profits beyond your wildest imagination. But that's if you can get it to work. I mean, this is ridiculously difficult to try and get to work. This is not... As they put it last time on this stream, this is hard mode. This is not normal. This is not easy. This is on hard. Freaking build the door. Okay, we're out of gold opal. We're out of gold opals and green tourmalines. So be it. But what we do need right now is more coffins. Whoop. That works. Mason, build a bunch of coffins. Okay. Oh, and I hate having to build more coffins because now we're at 48 dwarves. Dwindling and dwindling. He's hurt, bucket, barrel. Do more drink. Although... No, wait. Oh, that's right, because our broker died. Oh, we got a little baby now. That's great. Gave birth to a boy. And it looks like our road is coming along nicely. Our smooth stone road. I may actually turn that into a road later. We'll see. Not entirely sure yet. But I'm going to have to do something. And I'm going to have to probably manage to close myself out from the rest of the world one way or another. I mean, at least down here. Up, up in the main area, then I, I want to do the whole trading. I mean, this is midwinter right now. Uh, again, you guys can't see that again just because I removed the whole top part, basically. But this is midwinter right now. So right now... There should be a Dwarven Caravan coming, but like I said, there is a Necromancer army besieging me, and so I can't go outside. And because there is a siege, I can't actually like, get caravans. Like, they don't actually show up because there's a siege. So, we're kind of stuck 
living off of what we have, and there are lots of ghosts in our entire place, because I have been silly and I forgot this entire time. The entire time. I could make slabs. Now, in order to build a slab, you go to your mason workshop. You see this right here? Alt S. Alright, that is your slab. You build some slabs, and then you can engrave the slabs at a craft store workshop. And, oh look at that. Dwarven Child made a Gabbro mug. Good for him. He took a craft dwarf workshop and made him a mug. So, again, right here, you can engrave memorial slabs. And you can do it to anyone. That's a problem. Because if you don't know exactly who you want to do it for, that, uh-oh, that can cause problems. Whoop, crap. Ah. Bad hotkeys. Okay, move. Move my dwarves down here. Combat against these stupid troglodytes again. Oh, I hate troglodytes. Against unarmed dwarves, they do great. Against armored, armed dwarves, not so much. They do die against armed dwarves. Oh, there we go. Uh, you can see the troglodytes just getting owned. That's it. Those troglodytes are done. We got two more. Alright, go ahead and send our military dwarves over that way. And then, yeah, so once you figure out exactly what you want to engrave your memorial slabs as, like who you want it to be after, where, where the troglodytes go? Still right there, okay. Actually, both of them are right there, so we'll just go ahead and select those two to kill. Uh, then you can get rid of the ghosts. You uh, set up the slabs, uh, basically wherever you want them to be. I put them in the graveyard with the rest of them. But you just set up your slabs, and the ghosts will go away. Kill. There we go. And troglodyte getting away. Oh, come on. You guys can get the troglodyte. We're getting an awful lot more viewers today. Unique viewers. Where did they go? Okay, there we go. Um... So again, for all you guys that are new to the stream, uh, this, I do Let's Plays pretty much every day of the week. So feel free to ask questions about the stream, about, about any game. Uh, as long as I know of it, I can help pretty much answer any question about it. Assuming I've played it. Holy crap. Where is everyone? Where? Okay, there we go. And... Troglodyte's dead. Okay, and we found... Okay, oh my gosh, there's even more to explore? You're kidding me. I, I could have sworn I had explored everything, but no, no, I just keep stumbling across even more to explore. Okay, well, that's good, I guess. I mean, we are playing in a terrifying area, so the more space underground I have to explore, the better. Because that means potentially more money and more resources. As we already saw at the very, very bottom, we have a lot of raw adamantine waiting for us. Like I explained last time, the raw adamantine can lead to hidden fun stuff. Again, I'm not going to spoil it. If you've played Dwarf Fortress before, you know what hidden fun stuff is. If you haven't, go to the Dwarf Fortress Magma Wiki and look up hidden fun stuff, or HFS. It'll tell you right away, but be warned, that is huge spoilers for the entire game. I don't think my guys can get up there, so we're not even going to move them over there. Um, it's, it's huge spoilers for the game. I mean, it's like end game, and we could go do it right now. We could activate hidden fun stuff, but that kind of ruins the entire purpose of, you know, discovering it. How are we doing with our nobles? They're doing fine. Good. And mandates. Yeah, we can't make grief. So, uh, the mayor's mandate's going to have to go unfulfilled. And we can use that for justice still? Yep. Cool. Our jail is still functional. It only has one chain, because the other one went to the well. But, you know, whatever. We make it work. Awesome. Engravings. So you can see right here, this is the statue garden, like we were talking about earlier. And this is kind of the finished product, if you will. Uh, we'll try and add more statues later. But... As it stands right now, having these engravings on the floor, plus all the statues, I mean, if you talk to this wood burner, for example, you can see he's been happy. Um, 
There we go. He admired a fine, tastefully arranged statue. So that's what you're looking for. Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure our engraving, our engraver isn't that good. Yeah, so you can see you know, detailed floors. The best one so far is like this minus. I mean, that's, that's not very good. We got a plus. So, I mean, there's not much to go with for the engravings. They're not great engravings, so because of that, that's not going to make too many people happy. But this is, like I said, this is going to be a temporary uh, statue garden just to help make people a little bit happier for now because we do have the dead you know, going around making our people upset. So we're going to try and fix that. Actually, right, whoop, what happened? I, somehow I went way over shot. I'm not quite sure what happened there. So uh, did you guys finish making it? No. Promote slabs. Uh, again, to build slabs, Alt S. I know it feels weird having a hotkey be Alt, but you're just gonna have to. That's just how it works. I mean, it's Alt S. You can't change the hotkeys that I know of in this game. So, um, Loom. We need crap. I don't know what. I can't even remember what uses a Loom anymore. I just usually have so many dwarves. Someone has the ability. <laughs> So I'll, I'll figure out who, who uses the loom. Ten idlers. Uh, go to our animal day sector. Farming. Well, we need that for sure. Oh. Where's our... Crap. Herbalist. You do tanning as well. Hey, another tree grew. Chop that down. Add to our very limited wood supplies. Oh my gosh. Partial skeleton? Whoa. Again, that just shows the detail in this game. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to pause, whatever. Uh, if you want to read all that, go for it. I'm not going to sit here and read all of that. Because that is a ridiculous amount of stuff. And... Mayor is just randomly throwing a tantrum. I, I'm not quite sure why. Where's the troglodytes? Oh. Wait, what partial skeleton? What is this thing, anyway? That. What is that? Oh, no. These are, these are our dwarves. So our dwarves are now being resurrected. We already saw earlier one of the kobolds got resurrected that died out here. Now our dwarves are getting resurrected. The ones we abandoned outside before we sealed off the outside world. And those are the ones that got killed by the invading army. Well, now they're being resurrected to fight against us, unfortunately. I will take your take your word that zombie gorillas are very bad traumatized, but uh, again, I'm playing in a terrifying location, not a haunted location. I just happen to be neighbors with necromancers, and so they can just b bring an, an entire undead army to attack me. It's a problem if you have unarmored dwarves, but if you have armored dwarves, that's not a big deal. Unfortunately, we have unarmored dwarves, but we have direct access to huge veins of adamantine. So that'll be no problem once we get there, once we get that far. Our food stores are starting to weaken. It's late winter. Uh, we're not going to get a... Oh, crap. We're not going to get any sort of um, caravan this winter, unfortunately. Gorlack, Helmet Snake. Yeah, this is resurrecting all of them. That's horrible. Where is it? There he is. Okay. Military, come kill the troglodyte. Troglodyte's chasing our hen. And we only have two animals, so... So much for that. Blunt weapons are good against the undead, yes. But, um, again, we don't have weapons, we don't have armor. We don't have anything except for, like, training stuff. So, we are kind of stuck. Gorlack. Where's the Gorlack? Okay. So for those of you that don't know what a Gorlack is, I'm going to just go ahead and look at it for you guys. Real quick. Just a small round humanoid. 
Uh, its body take up by a huge tusked mouth. Its gold eyes are red and it's fat. It's a fat tusked mouth thing. And you can see our dwarf just going right after him. Whoa, what's going on? Thief, again, okay. So again, this is what happened last time. We had a thief, intruders, another necromancer, siege besieging us. That's fantastic. These zombies are fast, man. That's not even fair. Kobold got away. Gorlak. Looks like the sword dwarf decided to punch the Gorlak through the head. So the Gorlak is dead. Good news for us. Um, what animals are out here still? Troglodytes, giant crow. Okay, that's outside. No problem there. Giant ulm. That's probably inside. Uh-oh. Okay, so got to get rid of the giant ulm right away. It's a, it's a giant bat-like thing, basically. I mean, you look at it, it's an amphibian predator. Gigantic. These things are terrifying. They're, they will strangle you. They're good wrestlers. It's a problem. So I'm hoping sending our entire military force to kill one Ulm will not be too much for us. It might be too much for the Ulm. That's what we're going for, but we'll see. Kind of waiting for our military to show up. There we go. Oh, oh crap. What's going on? Alright, good, good. We're pushing him back, fighting back. Yeah, hitting the ulm. Down goes the ulm. Okay, well the giant thrips just died of old age, unfortunately. One of our pets is now dead. That sucks. But, we can build more of these coffins, place more of them down. We need a lot. Because this will be about as deadly as things will get. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we should have some slabs by now. So let's go ahead and look at um, go and look at what the ghosts are. To go Sift through all the corpses. Human stoneworker, necromancer, human farmer, necromancer. Okay, so we got a child and an axe dwarf, apparently. So, Melbill Das Tothosbot. Look for Melbill Das Tothosbot. And pray that we can find him. Uh, that guy. Alright, so we're engraving Mobile, and we want Kubuk Eidolgon. That'll be the next one. So, Kubuk Eidolgon. Eidolgon, whatever. Kubuk. No. No Kubuk. We have Kubuk Stusnunaloth, but that's not the same guy. Well, it looks like we can only make one memorial slab for now. But that's better than none. We can get rid of one of the ghosts, and that'll be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Trogodites. See if we can't kill them. Get a little bit more experience out in the field. Now, did we ever get to magma? I'll figure that out in a sec. I'll. I want to search for magma. Magma. If we can find magma, then we can take our entire army and turn them into godlike warriors very quickly. Oh, fishery worker gave birth to a boy. That's fantastic. Can we go back to the battle, please? All six of them need to die. Ugh. Go back to the battle, please. I want to watch this.
Looks like we may have just lost one of our military dwarves. Or at least they're getting hurt. Yeah, our wrestler died. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. It's bound to happen eventually. And these are not the best military dwarves out there. So now we're down to four. Fantastic. Okay. Looks like we got rid of the rest of them. Arch barrel. Yeah, nothing going on there. We're running out of food, running out of drink. It's early spring, so planting of the plump helmet should be commencing right now. That explains the lack of idlers, actually. Oops. Where are we looking? Whoa, that's a lot of marble. I th I'm pretty sure that's all marble, isn't it? That's rock salt. Marble's in there somewhere. I know we have access to marble, so it's important. Oh, right. Okay, so build a slab, Alt S again. And press X to look at it in more detail. Looks like nobody has built or engraved a slab yet. I don't even think we have craft stores anymore. Or if we do, they're busy planting. Go look at our farm. What is that? Bloodthorn! Beautiful. The dentist of all... The densest of all trees. Not dentist. Densest. Most dense. The deadliest as well. Interrupted by what? Troll? Oh my god. Well, it looks like... Yeah, there goes another dwarf. Uh, we have trolls now. Alright, military, show me what you got. Can you take down a troll? Huge humanoid monster with coarse fur, large tusks, and horns. Luckily, it's weak and skinny. Um, that's the rest you can read yourself, again, on the YouTube, so. And here comes the military. Oh, wow, something went flying. Alright, looks like we did okay. Herbalist took some big shots on the left shoulder and in the right foot. That's okay. He'll live. We don't have a hospital yet, but he'll live. Right, magma. That's what we we're going to do next. So we're going to go down, 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 deep into the depths. That was as far down as we can go. Okay. I'm going to go up, up, up. I saw something. Here we go. Okay, so we were over here, I think. Yeah, we were going to build walls right here. Out of diorite. And then magma, 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 magma. Didn't continue any deeper. But I want magma. Forty-five. Alright, so we're going to dig down vertically to 145 or somewhere around there. I just hope we don't dig straight in, into the hidden fun stuff. I hope we have an opportunity to utilize uh, all this amazingly high up and easy to access adamantine. Oh, boy. Are they, is she even coming down to... No, they're not even coming down to dig right now. That is just... Uh, 
I hate not having miners anymore. They all freaking died. <laughs> all of them are dead. It just does not help the case. Wow. How many freaking thing? Drawtha? Oh god, Drawthas. Well, I don't think we can really fight Drawthas. I mean, let's go and look at them for you guys again. Large, long-bodied grazer. I mean, they won't attack you, but they're huge, and they will kill your dwarves. If they're not protected well, they will kill your dwarves. We got a giant toad, giant amphibian predator, enormous yet skinny. It's kind of whatever. Oh, and a girl was born. So now we're at 49 again. Running out of food and drink again. But soon we will have lots of plants. Assuming we have farmers that'll work for us. Most of our population, in fact, almost half of our population is children. It makes it very difficult to do anything. It's a deceivingly high population. can't do anything anyway, you're stuck. Farmer, miner. And farming. So that's kind of what you do. Dyer. Farmer. Peasant. You get to be a farmer. And a miner. So hopefully one of those guys will do something for us. I'm kind of hoping goblins will besiege us as well. Like, because right now we got undead besieging us. But if, like, if it's possible to have two sieges going on at once, that's what I want. Because I think the undead and the goblins will fight each other. If not then it's a really, really, really big siege, and that would be a problem. So, yeah, these are like human necromancers. Prone to great ambition. Whatever. And did you guys... Yep. And did they build a slab? Or did they engrave it yet? Yes, so you can see right here, that's a memorial slab. Go ahead and just do that right now. And we'll get rid of one of the ghosts. Cloud of unholy vapor. I don't think it'll come inside, but we'll see. It shouldn't. Just go right over. Yeah, see, we're protected inside. It wants to come inside, but the wall stops it. It just kind of drifts on over. No problemo. Still don't know what Unholy Vapor does. Gremlin. Again? Those things are fast. Oh, but the Jaguar, even faster, jumped on him and took him out. Wow, just b bit him. Hormish to shreds. Scratches the gremlin in the left foot and the sailor part sails off in an arc. So I think the gremlin either died from like suffocation or blood loss. Either way, he died real quick. There we go. So Axdorf was put to rest because we put up the slab. So as one of the ghosts, the other one we can't build the memorial slab to, unfortunately. I'll work on it in the future, though. Chocolateites. Nope, just Drothas. No problems there. 
So right now in the siege on our fortress, we have dwarves, goblins, elves, and humans, and kobolds, sieging our fortress. Sucks, but uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Literally nothing we can do about it other than, like, die. I mean, that's one way to go about it. Miners? Still not doing anything. Did I line it up properly? I did. Just kind of waiting on them to start doing something. Hmm. I mean, down here, obviously, there are a lot more trees. There's a lot of mud. Um... Not much going on there. I mean, I could. The, the, I, I would want to open it up, except for the part where. If a forgotten beast spawns way down there, if it's opened, then they can come up and start killing my dwarves. Oh, are, oh there we go. Digging away. Down, down, down. Alright. Let's hope we don't run into any uh, hidden fun stuff down here. Oh, did you... Why? Why do you stop digging? I want you to keep digging. I want magma. I want to establish a solid industry of high-quality weapons. So in the meantime, we can make, like, training spears or something. Because we have wood. So why not spend it? Bucket, training spear. Animals? Nope. Oh. Apparently the master for the hen died. We could kill the hen, but it's named, so that might be a problem. So we're just going to go ahead and keep the hen as it stands. Um, smoky quartz. Do we have anything more to... No, nothing more doing great. Okay, so right now we're just kind of sticking with the smoky quartz. No one's doing anything right now because we're working on the farm. People are planting away. And uh, that'll be very important so we can go ahead and get our uh, food production up. Because we have water. If we need drink, we have water. But right now we really need that food. Very important. Very crucial. Oh, looks like a uh, nether cap, or is that a tunnel tube? That's a tunnel tube. I want the nether caps too because those are really, those are fireproof. They're really, really, really cold. Always. So ideally, I want those because they're strong and they're magma resistant. One of the, they're the only wood in the entire game that will not catch on fire. You can really use that to your advantage. You can build, like, walls out of nether cap and, like, hold back magma. It's really weird because it's, it's wood. You wouldn't think you'd be able to do that, but it always stays really cold no matter what. You can really utilize that to make your life a lot easier. No, we're not going to dig there. I wanted to dig this out just because it doesn't look good, but to do so would be very bad. Because right now we're trying to dig down vertically. We're trying to reach magma. And nobody is digging. We're still on level 123. Underground. Just waiting for more digging to occur so that we can get some magma. And then use the magma to... Well, get the magma, and then dig up adamantine, and then basically make weapons and armor and all sorts of awesomeness out of adamantine. Equip our dwarves and make them invincible.
We just have to be very careful not to dig too much into this, just to hit the outer layers. Because again, for your experienced dwarf players, you know 4x4, four four, that is hidden fun stuff right there. So it's very important to not dig uh, too much into that. We're now at 126. Dug a little bit deeper. Oh my... You're not doing anything. Why are you doing nothing at all? Go do something. What is that? It's a, a maple bow. Wow. Naked mole dog. Those things will disrupt your works pretty fast. I don't even know where they went. Oh my god, alright. Uh, fire alarm's going off, so that'll be it for this time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I gotta go. Being evacuated, so...